Hello, America. As you all know, my opponent, Hillary Clinton, crooked Hillary Clinton, just recently came down with pneumonia. Now I pose a question. How on earth can crooked Hillary bomb the shit out of ISIS when she can't even breathe? So I'm here to show you my professional doctor. Real smart guy, hard worker, love him, he's the best. He's gonna tell you why I'm the most healthy candidate to ever run for office. D D Donald Trump has fantastic health, best health I've ever seen. Huge heart, huge hands, and a huge slong. Is that good? So as you can clearly see, my health is the healthiest health. <coughs> <coughs> but that said, we are gonna beat Crooked Hillary in the fall, and we are going to make America great again. <laughs> Welcome back to Kendall Arias. You may notice by the background right now that I'm not actually in the studio. Well, the reason for that is we have some people in there doing construction to try to redesign the god-awful set we already had in there. The only reason we were able to afford that construction is because of the success of last week's season premiere of Kendall Arias. We reached a whopping 100 views on that video, which equates to about two cents in YouTube money, which, coincidentally enough, is all we really needed to improve the studio. So, speaking of construction, that leads me to this week's issue of the week. This week's issue is construction on TCNJ's campus. So for those of you who are familiar with TCNJ's campus, you know that construction is everywhere. And for those of you who aren't familiar with TCNJ's campus, construction is, well, everywhere. And it takes longer for construction to get done here than it takes to wait in a line at the DMV. Seriously, that, that's a long time. So TCNJ promised us an end date for the construction on multiple occasions. And every one of those dates has come and gone, just like every single one of Donald Trump's wives. So I had my group of Kindleria's mathematicians develop a formula that determines the actual end date for construction. And it goes something like this. If you take the total number of projected end dates, divide that by the amount of buildings CCNJ is trying to build, multiply that by the amount of workers at each site, and subtract the hours of sleep students have lost due to early morning construction, it equates to f***ing never. So, what this formula has left me wondering is what exactly is behind those green fences in the hard hat zones? So, I sent one of my top Kendall Area's correspondents, Tyler Law, to investigate the scene. Here's what happened. How's it going, guys? I am here at the mysterious green fences of TCNJ where they claim construction is to be going on back there. We're going to try to get a closer look back there. Let's, uh, let's see if this guy can help us out. Hi, sir. Uh, excuse me. Can you give us any word on the construction? Like any, like, behind the scenes, behind the green screens, anything? That is the most vile thing I've ever seen. I'm sorry you guys have to see that. That was weird. Let's, uh, let's see if these guys have any information for us. Excuse me, sirs, uh, do you guys have any, like, information on the construction? Any updates? Anything going on? Uh, how are you guys doing? It's great to see you again. You know, ever since I left the peas, radishes, carrots, and that barley group, I found a nice little home here. You know, it's it's going so well. Okay, so I got a question for you, though. Do you have any more glue? You know, the Elmer's, the nice white liquid glue, just like this. Uh, Elmer's glue? No, I, I don't. Why, why do you need Elmer's glue? Because I do. But, but why? You're supposed to be putting up a building. Why do you need Elmer's glue? Because that's how we put up the buildings. We put up the buildings with the glue. You use you use Elmer's glue to put up buildings? Oh, hey, hey, yeah, we you do buildings. Don't be questioning our methods over here. I mean, it, it sometimes it takes a while, but you keep your own profession, and we'll do our goddamn thing over here. I mean, sometimes, maybe like only 14 times out of 10, this goddamn thing comes apart. But I mean, it's quality glue. 
Yeah, yeah, don't mind Billy's abrasiveness. You know, he means well. But yeah, we just, we use it with the glue and the tape. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me that all the buildings on TCNJ are put together with glue and, ta like, tape? Every single one except for uh, Traveler and Wool. We put that one together with uh, <laughs> staples and duct tape. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. They worked. They worked real well. You know, just don't don't tell the guys that we did that. But like, it wait, worked. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me that thousands of students are living in buildings that are held together with duct tape and staples? Oh hell yeah, man. I mean, I don't know about you, but I I got complete confidence. That's right, you know, you know, and this new STEM building that's going up right here next to us, that's what you, we use too, you know, we use we use a little bit of the duct tape and we use the Elmer's glue, but we go through lots of glue sticks a day. Oh, yeah. So wait, we're, we're standing underneath a building that's held together with glued bricks that are, bricks glued together with duct tape and... Oh yeah, that's how we get done around here. I mean, I, I don't know how you do things in your town, but we do things here, right? And it always works out. Is that safe? Yeah. Hell yeah, man. What was that? Oh, nothing. You know, we've been here since six in the morning, and everything's just the same. When do you ever hear about things changing over time? I don't feel safe. Oh uh, God! Oh, oh my God! No, not again. Second week in a row, and my correspondents are endangered again. I, I, okay, gotta keep my composure. I'm going to try and get a hold of Tyler. Gotta find out if he's all right. That did not sound good. Um, so while you're waiting, watch these sketches and I'll come back to you later with info from my correspondent. Hopefully he's all right. Take a look. Weekly meeting of aliens flawlessly disguised as humans. Besides you, Egdon, you still look like an alien to me. So, before we get into the thick of this, we have a few announcements from Fred Leisha. So, well, guys, I have good news, but I also have bad news. Ooh. Which one do you want to start with? Um, let's start with the bad news. The bad news. Okay, so unfortunately, the famine on our home planet <laughs> has killed all of our families. Oh, no. I know. It's sad. Well, then, what's the good news? Well, the good news is actually our Facebook page recently got its 50th like. Oh. I say that's admirable. It's not all bad then. It's monumental. It's out of the stratos stratosphere. Right? Thank you, Fred Leisha, for bringing us in such great spirits. I will forget about our home planet eventually. That's, that's right. not a big deal. Yeah. All props to our social media manager, Clee. Hey, that's Wait. right, my boy, Clee. Way to go, Clee. Nice freaking job, Clee. Best job in the world, Clee. You are the man, Clee. 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 Thank you, everyone. From me, Clee. 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 Now, it's time to get serious. It's time to get into the nitty gritty. Strap on your space knee pads, boys. It's about to get real. As you know, we are on this planet on one mission, and one mission only, and that is to kill <gasps> the rap game. <sighs> Wegdon, how fire are your bars? Very fine, sir. Excellent, comrade, excellente. Wait, wait, excuse me, hold up. I'd like to bring up something. Um, our giant ultra ray, <gasps> Charles poster. <sighs> Where is it? Ah, uh, yes, the Ray Charles poster. Funny you bring that up. I believe it is in Fred Leash's apartment, as far as I remember. Yeah, you ever heard of stuff? He's a very inspirational pianist. Oh, yes, agreed completely. Yes. But guys, what are we doing about food? I mean, we came here to avoid our planet's famine. How come we haven't stocked up on anything yet? Well, actually, I was thinking, why don't we just, like, eat all of their heads <gasps> of cabbage? <sighs> oh, cabbage sounds delightful. Cabbage is gross, Wagdon. 
Come on, Klieg, how come you're always starting arguments with me? Oh, me? Me? You always start the arguments, not me. Well, that's some unidentified flying bullshit, Klieg. Settle down, everyone, settle down. We're all alien brothers, after all. Now back to the important matters at hand. We are burning people alive! <gasps> Blink-182 concert. <sighs> Where is that? Well, actually, I'm still struggling to find a good YouTube tutorial on how to burn those CDs, so... YouTube tutorial? Well, hurry up! It's a spectacle! People are dying to see it! On their DVD players! Best thing since Rob Thomas and Counting Crows! Wait, 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 wait. Remind me again why Fredlisha gets to keep the Ray Charles poster. Look, guys, come on. We need to stop with this. We need to focus on what's important, and that's destroying the humans. <gasps> Underwater breathing records. <sighs> Good point, because as you all know, us aliens could breathe underwater for much longer than humans can. It's true, it's true. But BT dubs, guys, what are we doing about our plan to build the high-tech bomb? <laughs> Orang? <sighs> Boomerang, bomberang. First of all, it's pronounced boomerang. And secondly, we have our top scientists working on it, so keep your space pants on, guys. Ugh. This meeting is getting out of control. Sorry. All right, now, we have a new matter at hand. What do we do with that weak, ugly, puny human boy over there? <gasps> Why don't we just hit the destroy all humans button? <gasps> Do it. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Apple keynote for, tw for September 2016. I'm Tim Cook. Last week we introduced to you the iPhone 7, the iPhone 7 Plus, and a brand new Apple Watch. Well today, we're going to show you a brand new product that I know you're going to love. But before we get to that, let's take a look at our sales real quick for the iPhone 7. As you can see, those sales are exceeding our expectations and people are even coming to us from our competitors. Let's look at their sales real quick. It's self-explanatory. People love Apple and the ecosystem of products that we have. I'm going to introduce to you Donald Macklin and he's going to show you the brand new product. Donald. Oh my god. Oh man. Well guys, how's everybody doing? Yeah? Alright, awesome. So, Tim and I just said that we have a new product for you guys to blow your money on. You ready to see it? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so excited! This is so exciting! Guys! The new product. You know those stickers that we give you in the case with your Apple iPhone or your MacBook? Well, we are no longer including those. That is the product. Take a look at our video. These stickers, you can't even call them stickers. These decals are better than ever. They are now printed from a laser cannon printer from the Kinkos that I live down the street from. These decals are the stickiest decals you will ever touch. The glue on these decals is so technologically advanced, it knows if it is you touching it or not. We really push our designers to advance a product as far as we can, and I am happy to say that these decals are so advanced that they will fall off after one year of usage so that you can go out and buy more stickers. Apple stickers. We've given you them for years, you've never used them, and now we're charging you for them. You want to know why? Because f**k you, that's why. We're Apple. We are oh my Apple. God, I'm so Stunning video we have for you. It's so well, exciting. As you saw, the Apple stickers, or as we like to call them, decals, are not just decals. They revolutionize decals. They take everything related to decals to the next level. Regular decals are down here. Apple decals are up here. Now, that said, I'm sure you're all wondering, when can I order one? Well, conveniently, Pre-orders start tomorrow, and shipping begins next week for the mere price of two hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Oh my God! Isn't oh my God! That's so so exciting! That's like so. I'm gonna welcome back my friend Tim. Oh my God! Oh my God! Kill it! Yeah. All right. So 
So as Donald said, they just cost two ninety nine, and we are actually losing money by giving to you these decals at this price. Once again, I'm Tim Cook. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, come back next month when we introduce the iPhone 7.5 S4 Galaxy Plus universe. I know you're going to love it. It's going to be the best iPhone we've ever made to date. I'll see you there. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for waiting around. I was able to get a hold of Tyler. He is okay. He's in the hospital. He just sent me this picture. Clearly, he's all right. They're taking care of him. Apparently, they're trying to try some sort of new treatment to mend his bones. It involves Elmer's glue. I mean, who would have thought? But if you want Tyler to get better real soon, donate to the GoFundMe, like this video, subscribe to LTV, and leave a hate comment below. It's the only way to ensure that Tyler's going to get better soon. Thanks for watching. See you next week.